Hi, I'm Tom Newstrom, professional guide from Grand Rapids, Minnesota, and I've been guiding for about 34 years, and you know what? Walleyes are my favorite species of fish, and I chase them all the time. Anytime there's open water, I'm chasing walleyes. You know, one of the things that really has come back after maybe 30 or 40 years is trolling spinner shallow, and we do it a little bit differently. Uh, I like to use a cone sinker, you know, the typical sinker that bass fishermen use for a Texas rig, and I like to run maybe a 35 as, as long as 65 inch leader and I use I usually use number three gold spinners I like uh, the revolution spinner from you know from VMC but you know there's a lot of different spinner rigs I you run a two hook harness or a one hook harness but we're able to kind of scoot in and out of the weeds a lot and even over the top of the weeds you know when you just do a split shot and a real slow presentation we're running about 0 0.5 0 0.7 miles an hour and we're working at that crawler over the top of the weeds and that Trigger X crawler really works good too. You know, different situations where there's a lot of panfish around, sometimes these plastic baits will really outshine live bait because they're not pecking at it. But again, you know, it's one of these things where, you know, it's old school, but it's now it's come back to new school. And we, we, you know, we run this, especially when it's even calmer conditions, where it doesn't have to be real windy for boat control, but we can run up and down through these patches of weeds over gravel and rocks. And as long as you're running a long line out, I'm running about 80 to 90 feet of line out, it really works effectively. I like a seven and a half to eight foot rod so I can actually let the fish pull that tip back for me and I can stretch it back and then set the hook, get a good hook set on it. Um, I'm pretty, pretty fond of uh, working braid, but also with the spinner, I'm tying uh, usually suffix floral carbon leader on there and I'll tie probably anywhere from eight to 12 foot a leader. So, you know, the thing is the effectiveness of the rig and I can cover a lot of water during situations, but again, a half a crawler with a single hook and I use a, a two hook harness and sometimes even when the fish are biting that tail off, I'll pinch it down by the second hook and I'll run that second hook right off where the break of the crawler is and honestly I'll catch a lot of fish that way and we catch some monsters. So you know what, if, especially in the summertime when the weeds are up, if you haven't done it before, give it a try because you know what, it works for me, I know it'll work for you.